Therefore, the next zebras I will observe will have stripes. More example. The sun came up today. The sun came up yesterday. The sun came up today before that. Therefore, the sun will come up tomorrow. Induction with deduction. Notice that none of these inductive arguments are deductively valid. It's possible that premises are true, but the conclusion false. That is, it's possible that the sun won't rise tomorrow, or that we'll discover a zebra without stripes. Okay, okay. Or it's possible. Yeah. Huh? We can change. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no, I wouldn't hear. The deduction. In inductive reasoning, the conclusion contains more information than the premises. But we must determine whether or not the conclusion is valid. In deductive reasoning, aka top-down logic, if all premises are true, then the conclusion reached is necessarily true. Example: All men are mortal. Aristotle is a man, therefore Aristotle is mortal. What's the aim of this form of reasoning? Okay, synergy. Human induction. Because inductive arguments are not deductively valid, the premises never guarantee that the conclusion is true. We can never show that the conclusion of an inductive argument is likely to be true. What could we say that would show that induction is a good way of forming beliefs? It seems like the only thing we can say is induction works so well. As we saw, inductive arguments are not valid, valid as they stand. However, we can make them valid if we specify a key implicit premise. Let's call this premise the principle of the uniformity of nature, B1. Uniformity of nature. Nature is uniform. The future resembles the past. Can, can you say an example about the P1? Uh, from the morning, morning the sun uh, rises. Mm. Mm. And uh, you are alive now. Yes. Tomorrow maybe. Tomorrow maybe. Okay. I assume that I will be alive. Oh yeah, you. Okay. Is P U N justified? You Marcus, that in order to be justified, he believe in the conclusion of an inductive argument, we need to be justified in believing P U N. But how could we be justified in believing this principle? Notice that we can't give any deductive argument for PUN. As we've pointed out, there's nothing that guarantees that the future will be like the past. So it seems the only way to show that PUN is justified is to give an inductive argument. Circularity. But we can't give a good inductive argument for PUN because, as we said, all inductive arguments rely on PUN. Hume's conclusion is that there is no way to justify PUN, and thus we can never be justified in believing anything on the basis of induction. In conclusion, does certainty or absolute truth exist? However, nowadays inductive reasoning is a commonly used type of reasoning in physics and other sciences. <coughs> we use this type of inductive reasoning all days. Without this kind of reasoning, we could not do even the simplest actions, such as lurking, taking a bottle of water in the refrigerator, as the generalization previous experiences tells us where to find the bottle of water and that the water stops the thirst. Moreover, stereotypes and prejudice are an example of bad inference. A stereotype is a simple generalization about a person or group of persons. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Okay. So now I give you a test about the Hume's problem of induction. You have 30 minutes to complete the test. Now we are going to watch a funny short video about the target induction. 
is a, a story about a poor chicken and uh, we uh, will discover why it's a poor chicken. It is a little example by Bertrand Russell uh, to illustrate the weakness of the inductive reasoning and of course in the context of the Hume's argument. Let's go. This head was Professor video was called the Turkey's Induction. And before you watch it, I want to give you two warnings. First of all, this video is rated PG for violence. It is just cartoon violence, but uh, the leading character is killed and dismembered. And I also want to give you a second warning. A very funny video. Yes. Yes. The poor chicken, what about the poor chicken? Yeah. It's good, it tastes good. Mm. Or now, I'm sorry, a, a reading test about the differences between deductive and inductive reasonings. You have 20 minutes to complete the test. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> so, finally, a little task for you. Work, work in pairs and complete these sentences about stereotype and prejudices as an example of bad inference. You have 15 minutes for, to complete this task. And please, Try to discuss together in, in pay. Okay. Why? Okay. It, it is a list of stereotypes. Well, for example, all politicians are dishonest. Yes. 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 True. 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 Yes. Hmm. All male ballet dancers are gay. <laughs> All black men are good at sport. Why? I disagree with the definition uh, because uh, I am a black man, so I am not a good at Saying uh, all uh, black men are great musicians. I, did, I don't think so. So, and, uh, I'm agree with you because um, a lot of time I saw um, white uh, athlete who won uh, running competition and over competition of uh, Olympics games. Yeah, the sentence of uh, Yao is true. For example, uh, uh, in a swimming competition, uh, there aren't uh, black men and uh, white men uh, win uh, this competition. Um, you know? So, um, I think uh, all this reasoning uh, are true, but uh, I think uh, uh, this is um, a frequency that is uh, very uh, usual today, because uh, we can find uh, prejudice and stereotypes everywhere, uh, for example, uh, for the sports, like the, your example, for food, for where you are life. So, uh, I think uh, the main problem is that uh, uh, our daily life is conditioned by these uh, prejudices and uh, we should try to throw them away or uh, just to ignore them. Uh, yes, yes, but I'm not agree with you because uh, I think that uh, not all stereotypes uh, are bad. We use stereotypes in uh, everyday in a common life. For example, uh, 
if you want some water, you know that the water is uh, on the fridge and that the water can stop the, the thirst. So this is an example of stereotypes that we can, we can use uh, in a common lab. And we know that the custom is the great uh, guide of the human life. And I think uh, we can say that civilization uh, is a uh, part of human reasoning and uh, our mind tends to spontaneously put everything uh, in its uh, specific domain to, to make thinking simpler. And uh, I think with your prejudice about black men or uh, male ballet dancer, uh, we can consider them uh, downside of this inductive reasoning. <coughs> Okay, thank you guys. Well, and uh, I hope that in the future we we'll try to avoid uh, this uh, kind of uh, generalizations. And uh, that's all for it. Thank you. Uh, Disculpe. Uh, Podréis hacerlo anche en español? What? Podréis hacerlo la lección en español? Yes, maybe. Next ah. time. Oui, mais pourquoi pas en français? What? Pourquoi pas en français? Ah, ok, c'est une bonne idée. En Spanish et en French, ok. Elle aime un autre pour le arabe. What? Elle aime un autre pour le arabe. Ah, ok. Bye.